Hey there everybody, this is Spiraling Helix. Welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash on the Wii U. Last time we made it here to Port Prisma where we found out the fountain has all dried up, the big paint stars are missing, and the world has been drained of its color. This time though, we have found that a big paint star is up above the screen where you cannot see unfortunately. So, we shall start repainting the world once more, reviving toads, and making our way up to the big paint star. Now we've already checked out the right hand side of Poor Prisma, the yellow district. We are currently in the red district, so I think our next port of call, as you might want to say, is over to the left in the blue district. But as you can see, while I'm repainting the world, you will sometimes get cards from this. This is very helpful, and you get coins too, which is also neat. The cards you get from painting in the world will always be painted already and coloured in. However, if you get cards from alternate sources, particularly from question mark blocks or whatever else, they will tend to be black and white, uncoloured, which means you paint them in battle. But we'll get into battle in just a moment, so I will just finish up painting all of these, and you will likely have to hammer some things around you while painting. The other thing I would like to draw your attention to, guys, is in the top right hand corner. Now this little feature isn't actually included in the game, I just thought I'd chuck it in to help you guys keep track of roughly how many colourless spots that we have filled in throughout the levels. As the game does keep track that you are filling in all these colourless spots. Now. As it fills in, I'm basing it off hammer strikes, so the bigger the area, the more will fill in. Although this first area sucks. Especially because you don't really have enough paint to fill everything in. Okay, so that is the red district coloured in. Sorry about that guys, it takes forever. So let's get on to the blue district. Over here, we already know that the card shop is here and so is the postal service but let us just quickly paint in these spots and see what this toad is now usually the colorless spots aren't so everywhere like the red district not the bridge anything but the bridge oh that really stinks most of the good stuff on in the blue district is on the other side of this bridge I'm no expert on bridge repairs, but I am an expert on bridge experts, and we're definitely gonna need one. Yes, a bridge expert would be nice right about now. Right about now. Don't we have one here in Port Prisma? We usually do, but he's out of town somewhere. Doing some Somewhere? Something? I thought you said you were an expert on bridge expert. Never mind, I guess we'll have to forget about the bridge for now. Okay, sad thing to do, but here is the postal toad. I'm afraid I can't make it back to my post until the bridge is fixed. Well, that was kind of boring. Here we have a save block. It lets you save your game while in a level, which honestly you never need to do. You probably would want to go through a level start to finish. Although it does have its uses, it takes you back to the world map, I believe, and then you just come back in at that point. You gonna pay for that? Wait, what's going on? Where'd they go? I got swarmed by a bunch of rowdy customers with straws, and then everything went white. I wasn't slacking off, boss, I swear. I'll grow drum up some more customers. So here in we have the battle card shop. You, It does help to buy some cards throughout the game, but you probably don't need to worry about it. You can also sell cards for money. You can buy both colored in versions and the plain ones. Here we have the hop slipper, that's a normal jump, but it happens over 10 bounces, not 5. And the mushroom, which we do have, but I didn't show off, it just heals you. And that's okay. We will see more in just a moment though, because there's a battle coming up. And I would very much like to 
Open this gate. Look at you, Mr. Fixit. This door's as good as new. It should open right up now. Colorless objects won't work well until you restore their color. So don't be stingy with that paint hammer. Okay, actually I'm just gonna grab some more paint here before the battle. Because I'm kind of low on some of those colors. And red is very popular in battles. Boom! I mean, boom! Ugh, I waited all day just to say that, and I totally blew it. Whatever. Fight me! Here we go, the Goomba! The classic first enemy, although it's technically the second one, because we've already faced some shy guys. So, I am just going to reorganize my cards, so the colorless ones are on the left, and the other ones are on the right, it grouped by roughly jumps, then hammers, then other cards. So let's just use a worn out jump, and you don't need to even paint the cards all the way, I'm pretty sure I will still kill it no matter what, but that's okay! Getting an excellent because every further hit gives you one coin. If you finish the battle without taking a single hit, you get a perfect bonus. If only I had said boom instead of goom. Yeah, you messed up, Goomba. Ooh, it's a hammer scrap. If you collect enough of these, you'll be able to store more paint in your paint hammer. Enemies sometimes drop them after battle, so be sure to pick them up after they disappear. So this is experience, lets you store more paint, goes up in increments of 20, I believe? Or maybe it's 50, at least for the first few. Good night, cruel world. Wait, you're not a Goomba, you're Mario! I can't believe that guy took me out. I lost to the first Goomba, just like a grandma. Well, thanks for repainting me. This is the blue district, or well, it used to be. Who knows how much paint those suckers have stolen by now. Good luck tracking them down. Sure thing. Wait, what's going on here? Usually that's water flowing here, making the wheel spin around and look super cool. Now it's just sitting there looking moderately cool. That's not cool enough. Okay, I do admit, I, I agree with you, Huey. Water wheels do look pretty cool, but it kind of helps if they're moving. Otherwise it looks like they're useless. Also be on the lookout for colorless spots like this. They can be very well hidden. But what does this toad have to say? This water wheel is the best. It's easily in my top 500 water wheels. And before you ask, yes, I have seen over 500 water wheels. What the scrap? Why isn't the wheel spinning? Well, fine then. Say goodbye to your top 500 status, you lazy water wheel. I, I, I love this game. There is a very big complaint that people have about this game, particularly with comparing it to previous titles in the Paper Mario franchise. And that's the fact that every character is a plain toad, much like a few other recent Mario games. In particular, people like to relate this to Sticker Star. However, I feel like the pacing in this is nicer, and the lines are just funny, and it's... It's a fun game to sit down and just laugh at. I wouldn't play this game if I wanted a rough gameplay experience, but... <clears throat> hey, you. You want to hear a juicy secret? Just come a little closer. That's it. Where'd Master all go? Okay, we have a regular side battle here. Shy battle? Shy guy battle? Red shy guy. We are used to seeing this and what I will probably do from the next level onwards is kind of skip over any unnecessary battles because let, let's face it that didn't amount to much. You want to hear that juicy secret? I wear a mask because I'm afraid to put myself out there. Um, okay. I mean, you're called a shy guy, so I kind of expected that. Also, hammering the trash cans give you rainbowed colored paint, which just boosts everything quite a bit. Hopefully you know your primary and secondary colors. You can see the primary in the top left, those being red, blue, and yellow, but you will likely see a lot of green, purple, and orange. Of course, if you didn't know for some reason, or can't remember, or mix it up with Colors of Light, which is green instead of yellow. 
green is blue and yellow, orange is red and yellow, and purple is blue and red. Anyway, everyone's stealing paint. As a last line of defense, I activated the emergency TP system here. But there's no way we can use this much TP, and I don't know how much how to get rid of it. That's okay, we'll find a way. Painting, it's probably not gonna do anything. And our hammer, this would do Okay, I don't need to fight you. Although I guess that's a good way of showing if you manage to hit the enemy before the battle begins, you can get a first strike, dealing a little bit of damage. Same goes for the enemies though. If they hit you, running into you isn't the same as hitting, but enemies like a Cooper, if they run into you, might hurt you. If they hit you first, they get to do damage on you. So be careful. And oh, maybe it was worth fighting that shy guy. Because now we have more paint. Oh yeah. Now, as far as I'm aware, the max paint level is like 900, 950. We're not gonna get high that high, just saying. So is everything done? Have you repainted everything? Defeated the bad guys? Saved the good guys? What do you mean, no? Get to work, buddy. These totes are putting on so much pressure on me. I don't know if I can take it. The game, I'm not even on the first level of the game yet. This is only the hub shop. That was a very well hidden shy guy. I forgot about him. He's just gonna watch us. Where am I? Oh right, I'm in the yellow district. I thought I could camouflage myself by standing against the yellow walls, but they still got me. Now that I have a new lease on life, I'm gonna take more risks. I've always wanted to try cordless bungee jumping. I'm sure he's okay. And over here, Mario, in here, help me. Um, okay. Oh, Mario, my hero. Ha 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 ha, did you hear that squeaky annoying voice? I totally crushed that toad impression. It's very hard to tell with me saying it because I cannot do toad voices at all, but yeah, this is the example of an enemy getting a first strike on you. You can still block their attacks, thankfully. And I'm gonna bring something to your attention about the battle system. You don't need to use touch controls. In fact, I've already got it, so I'm not using them. It's very simple to do. You can't do it during battle, unfortunately, but when you're outside of battle, you can simply open the main menu, click the quest, press the question mark in the top right corner, and change it to basic and buttons. Advanced doesn't let you use buttons, but you, you do everything in just two moves instead of like four. But anyway, dang, you really are a hero. Nice. Mario, in here, help me. Um, I don't know if I can trust this again, but okay. You old tiger, take it easy, what were you expecting? My apologies for the rather, uh, non-existent welcome to poor Prisma. As you're no doubt aware, we've been dealing with an invasive invasion of paint-stealing hooligans. Anyhow, if things had gone as planned, these would have been your guest quarters. Um, good thing that Shigar doesn't want to attack Princess Peach. How's it going so far? Have you recovered the paint star for Huey yet? Ah, Princess Peach, I offer you a belated welcome to our humble town. I'm gonna guess he's the mayor of Port Prisma. I'm sure you must feel tired from your long voyage. So please feel free to rest in these quarters anytime. Just suddenly change the accent of him. Oh, thank you, Purple Toad. We are a bit tired after all of this excitement, so we will take you up on that offer. I love how Princess Peach is just like purple toad. Even she knows there's too many toads that look alike. Anyway, Princess Peach can heal us, although we're on 49 out of 50 damage, so I'm not too worried. You can go in there and talk to her, but I don't think we need to do that. We can do this adventure fine without her. Also, if you see in this crate, there seems to be something in there, and I don't think I want to let that thing out. Before you head up, come down here and peel this tape, I guess. To make a nice shortcut. Anyway, okay, let's see what's in here. It's just three Goombas. So let's run away. Look at that. He's so focused on stealing paint that he hasn't even noticed us approaching. 
I bet that's why the wheel isn't spinning. He's taking the color right out of the water. Um, let me paint this first. And as you'll see, that's a lot of coins for one thing. This just tiny thing here has a lot of importance later on. Kind of. Okay, not really. But this has something very special, which we will come to uh, much later in the game. But Huey wants you to get a first strike by attacking him now with your hammer or jump. But I prefer to do this. And this shy guy is still here, and you know what, let's take care of him. He is a new enemy after all. This shy guy has a straw. This is known as a slurp guy, and I'm going to actually waste a mushroom to heal one HP. Because I kind of want to show the mushrooms off at some point in time. But I want to show off this enemy's attack even more so. Now, he will come and attack you, but he won't tend to do damage. Instead, he'll suck the paint out of your hammer and heal himself. So you do need to be a bit careful about him. Also, I don't think this worn out jump is going to kill him in one go, because slab guys tend to have a bit more health than other shy guys. But if you get an excellent, you'll be fine. Otherwise, I think he'll tend to bonk you on the head with this draw, dealing a bit more damage than the standard attack from... Shy guys, but that's okay. The TP system has moved and the water wheel over to the left is now active. I'm sure we can talk to the toads in the future at, at some point in time, but we came here for one reason and one reason only to get the big paint star that is waiting up here. Yes, we made it to the big paint star, Mario. Let's go grab it. Hmm, actually, this isn't a big paint star after all. It's much too small. Mario, this is a mini paint star. Not to worry, this is a good sign. Mini paint stars are kind of like baby big paint stars. So we must be on the right track. Mini pa big mini paint stars will lead us to big paint stars. And big paint stars will lead to my beautiful fountain being restored to its former glory. Whoa, what's going on? Well, that's not good. That airship is making off with a huge bucket of paint. Did they steal all of that from poor Prisma? Grab this red mini paint star. Let's get moving. Okay, Huey. We finally made it. It's very dark to see Mario there. And coming out here, you don't get that view. But let's waste no more time and grab the mini paint star. Course clear. Oh yeah. When you clear a course, you will get coins and paint. Usually based on how many enemies you killed. Welcome to the world map. And as you will see, we have unlocked the next level being Roddy Road. And if you look back at Port Prisma, you can see there must be another mini paint star somewhere and we have restored 85% of the colorless spots. Here is Port Prisma in its colorless glory. Actually Port Prisma is the town. Here is Prisma Island in its colorless glory. Don't worry most of it is colored in just not until we can access those areas. And it's worth noting just before I leave you guys off I'm going to go back down to my gamepad 
and open up the menu cover for uh, the last couple of things. Basically get the ends of the tutorials out of the way as quickly as I can. So I've already told you how to change the rules in the settings for battle. You can also enable off TV play so that will basically turn the TV input off so you can play entirely on the gamepad. But you can also check some items of which we don't have any yet. And some mail, again we don't have any of them. You can check your status though, this is what's very interesting for me. Where you can see things such as the colorization you have in each level in the game, the big paint stars you've collected, how much paint your hammer has, your HP, your coins and your card slots. Uh, to which we only have one, which means we can only use one card at a time in battle. But with that menu tutorial out of the way guys, thank goodness, I think I will call it there. So, next time it's finally, it's finally time for really the first level in the game, Ruddy Road. And I've got to say, if you haven't realised it yet, you're going to love the music in this next level. Anyway though, with that guys, this has been Spiraling Helix. I will see you guys next time. Be sure to follow me on Twitter or subscribe if you want to actually keep up with updates. And I also do top 10s of each LP I do, so check out some of my past content too. So, see you guys next time. Bye bye.